Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, breaking news straight out of Brooklyn and the Persico Mafia Dynasty, also known as the Colombo Crime Family. Um, I kind of teased this in our uh, New York LCN sleeper rankings um, a week or two ago, talking about uh, guys that uh, either you had never heard of or hadn't heard about in a while. And I mentioned Joe Waverly, the OG Colombo uh, mob figure, former acting boss, former consigliere, and now uh, us at the Original Gangsters podcast and our companion web magazine, The Gangster Report, are Breaking the news that Joe Waverly has been back in the administration of the Columbos for the last three years and is the underboss, and that uh, Joe Waverly and Little Rob D'Onofrio have been running the Columbos in tandem over the last handful of uh, last three years, two, three years um, since the previous administration got locked up. Um, there was speculation that Joe Waverly. Uh, was going to get up to boss before we knew little Rob had gotten the promotion that was broken by gangland news and Jerry Capese. Um, and I've been told this, all this news is coming to me in the aftermath of Sally bread, uh, Cambria's death and is, uh, his wake and funeral last week, just a very beloved, uh, LCN figure across the five boroughs in New York. Um, maybe the most universally, beloved guy. I'd never heard of, you know, this guy was um, very well respected and, and very uh, well thought of and just somebody that everybody liked, um, like a Bobby Bacala type guy, if you, if you want to make a soprano um, analogy. And uh, he, he was a former acting boss as well. Um, Skipper, uh, uh, Brooklyn and Queens and Long Island. And uh, a lot of people, no bosses were there, but a lot of people were were there. A lot of um, a lot of buzz, a lot of talk, and um, this is some of the stuff that I've I've gotten over the last couple of weeks. And that this is not, you know, this is a guy who's eighty three years old, Joe Waverly, but he, from what I understand, is uh, very hands on. Him and Little Rob um, are doing a lot of the uh, heavy lifting leadership. Uh, in the Columbos right now themselves. And that this is, in some ways, this has been, well, I guess in some ways this is because this happened, you know, three years ago, and I'm going to make an analogy of the Bananos. But Mikey Mancuso did the same thing in the wake of, I guess, this, and the wake of uh, his little mini insurgents uh, that he had to um, deal with out of Brooklyn, where... Mikey Mancuso is a Bronx guy, and he's making it so the entire admin right now, for the most part, or all the shot callers uh, in the Bananos are loyal to the Bronx regime. And it's the same thing's happening in the Columbos right now from, from talking to my sources on both sides of the law, that um, Teddy Persico, who's coming out of prison in a couple of years, but he's the heir apparent, and the people that speak for Teddy, uh, his cousins, Billy Russo and, and whatnot, uh, are really wanting to make this entire new era Brooklyn centered and not spreading out administrative posts uh, necessarily to other regions and, and keeping this very Brooklyn. And Joe, Joe Waverly's a Brooklyn guy, uh, Little Rob's a Brooklyn guy. Um, so this is just, you know, another, we talked about it in the sleepers. Uh, we hadn't heard Joe Waverly's name in a while. He'd been away for about 15, 16 years. Uh, came out in 2020. I'm told this promotion happened at the end of 21. So uh, it had been about, you know, roughly two years since he got out. And this guy, you know, to use it, another term, uh, I, I can't take credit for it, but shout out to Jerry Capese with his, this guy was a die or this guy is a dyed in wool wise guy. Uh, one of the toughest, uh, most tenacious mafia figures you'll find, not just in New York city, but 
coast to coast right now. Joe Waverly uh, survived, uh, has survived two murder attempts, uh, one back in the 70s when he fought off some armed robbers uh, at his uh, floral shop and actually killed one of them. And he was shot and he drove both of them to the police station and then to the hospital. Uh, and then again, it, it, at the peak of the, of the third Columbia war in the 1990s, uh, Joe Waverly and Greg Scarpa got into a shootout. Um, and he was wounded there, survived it. Eventually he had been in a, a, a little Vic supporter, just like little Rob was at the beginning of that war. They both jumped to Team Persico and uh, went across the victory line with those guys and have been flying high ever since, despite Joe Waverly having to do 15 years. But in, you know, looking at the what Joe Waverly was uh, charged with, 15 years is a sweetheart deal. Uh, four murders that he copped to, and then another one, that another murder indictment that came to him while he was locked up that he had to beat at trial. So, you know, government thinks he did five hits at least, and uh, he did 15 years. That's that's a pretty, it's, it's a good deal if you can get you can get it. But um, this is you know, the Di Matteos uh, are still in place. Ralph Di Matteo, I'm told, still the consigliere. Um, Benji the Claw Castellazzo is you know out of the out of the admin. He just came back. Uh, he did his prison sentence came out and is kind of off into retirement and uh, had never really been a super pro Persco guy. And uh, now they got Joe Waverly in there who, as I'm reporting, uh, is really in the driver's seat with little Rob right now. And uh, the day-to-day -day affairs of the Columbos and seems like they've been able to stabilize things. And I know Andy Russo, who was the boss died uh, waiting, waiting for his trial. It was a little bumpy those last couple of years with with Mush Russo because uh, Mush was his mind was going to Mush, and I'm, I'm not trying to make light light of it, but there were some real issues in that family because it was like the empire the emperor has no clothes. Nobody wanted to tell Mush Russo that it was time to to um, leave the party because it, a lot of the administrative issues and a lot of the day-to-day uh, -day orders were getting mixed up via translation from the uh you know from from the throne to the street and some of that was being attributed to to mush's uh, uh a mental decline but uh that's all been um righted little rob and joe waverly um moving the colombo ship in the right direction until teddy persco gets out in less than two years but uh this was big breaking news, I, I think, uh, in, in our world. So I just wanted to share it. Joe Waverly, 83 years old, spent about 20 years out of the admin or 16, 17, 18 years out of the admin, back in the last couple of years as underboss. Uh, Benji Casalazzo into retirement. Little Rob, still the acting boss. Skinny Teddy coming out in two years. Ralph DiMatteo staying in as consigliere, as a not being affected by this partial overhaul uh and uh tony waverly or sorry tony waverly joe waverly uh very close to ralphie di matteo and his brother luca luca who's a, a long island capo for the colombos please like subscribe share og pod let everyone know that we're uncovering the underworld one breaking story at a time here check out our patreon members only where we do a little bit more uh analysis, a little more um, exclusivity in terms of uh, breaking news, interviews, but this is in terms of um, hardcore second by second news. You're going to get it here uh, at OG YouTube. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.